What's going on? Andy Plisco, South Bay Tri Cake. Well, welcome to another episode of What's in the Box. Today we're going to take a look at the T7. It's a new offering from Trike. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I've been riding all over town and it is awesome. Check it out. I've never had that before. Let's take off, baby! Think version one. Yeah, I yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh. Nice. Stop here? I like it. This thing's great, doesn't fold, but it's a neat rider. Stay tuned. Let's take a look at putting this thing together. Cool new graphic scene. There's Gina and there's uh, Randy. So right up front, we can see three wheels. So we've got the two trailing arms. We have our front structure. We have our fork. Cool color, huh? Check out that graphic. Slick. So let's count for everything that we have here. We've got our fork. We've got three wheels. Bearings. Bearings are inset in the wheels. Next thing we have is our front structure. You'll notice the top of this cap, pretty solid. The yoke and the cambering mechanism already on there, ready to go. Next, I'm gonna take trailing arms apart, separate them. There we go, one trailing arm. That looks like the brake cable's already attached. We've got some handlebars underneath. Foam grips, check it out. These are our basic uh, brake levers. Looks like they've got some decent action. All right, well, so let's take a quick look and see what's inside our bag. We've got the new manual. Let's take a quick look at this manual. There's G on the front. It says that we got a new DVD. Congratulations on your new purchase. Uh, a couple of legal beagle stuff. There's a layout of the new T7. All identification of all the parts. Nice blow up so we can get together and figure out what it is that we're going to do. Looks pretty straightforward. All right, you can see this trike is not meant to be folded. When we take the main axle out here, that'll allow us to collapse it in the W shape. This trike's going to be very sturdy. We have some safety topics, a little bit of information on how to ride, more of the same. We have a ski, our tri bread, the lovely Gina. Legal disclaimer, there's the pony. That pony looks awesome. Fun to ride too. And there you go, the T7 manual. Looking good. We have the Trike Academy handout with some tips and information about improving your riding. Got the DVD, owner's manual, our toolkit, all the tools that we're going to need to put this trike together. Two five millimeters and a three millimeter. And then the last thing we have here is the main axle. All right, so first things first, let's put this wheel on. I'm going to take five, five, we're going to remove this axle. I like to just leave one kind of hanging like that. There's no real direction on which way we have to put this. Slide it on there, slide it through. Now I had a little bit of success, you see, sliding it through immediately. And you see how tight it is right here? I can't get the, the bushing on a little tight. So I'm actually going to loosen these two bolts a little bit. So it'll open the spread here, which will open the bottom of the fork. All right, so hopefully that was enough. Get a couple turns on there, and the spacer. Now you can see the spacer fits nice and easy. Push it through, there we go. Slide the bolt on. Pretty good. That takes care of that. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna to wanna to do here is hook up the yoke to these cambering bushings within this trailing arm. You can see I've got it laid upside down. It's just gonna be a little bit easier to deal with. And the way you can tell that you're upside down, you see this little tab. This is a strength tab, by the way. It's a little piece of uh, steel that's actually been added to, to keep some strength in here while riding. Now, I could use the tools that I have with the kit. You can see I'm choosing to use tool that's going to help me make it go faster. So something that I like to do, take a little bit of my grease, put it on there, wrap it around the ear of the yoke. Now, we've got to leave this little space or so this washer on the inside. We want to make sure that we have some cuppage on the back side of this bushing. And then, work that thing on there. Nice and easy. Before you put it back together, a little bit of juice on there, bolt back on, slide it in. Alright, and do the same with this side. Again, this washer right here, it's got to stay on here. We want some protection on the back side of this bushing. And take a little bit of white grease, a lubrication on there. Don't overdo this. Just put enough on there to have a little bit of lubrication. Grease just brings dirt into your system. You don't want to do that. And slide it on. Again, got my bolt, my washer, run that back in. Now that I've got both of them on, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten them down. Now, I'm not gonna tighten them down all the way. I wanna keep them kind of loose because I wanna make sure that I have no issues when I go to put the axle onto the other side. I'm just gonna snug them up. I don't like to bolt anything just tight just yet. And I'm even gonna take this bolt, I'm gonna back it off a tad. 
so it allows this yoke to move back a little bit when I go to slide this main axle in. So that when it's all done, this bolt will be the last thing I tighten and it'll pull everything tight. All right, now you see that we've got the right and left trailing arms on, we've got our front structure mounted. So you can see I flipped it over, I flipped the trike over and I've got the cables on the bottom side. So then we won't get them caught inside here. So now I'm gonna raise the column up. And remember I loosened the yoke on the back here. And I'm gonna take my main axle. And it's hard. All right, so I can put one tool on one side, one on the other, and open this up. Leave one washer on, take one off. Take a little bit of white grease, not a lot. All right, I just wanna get some, some lubrication on there. That's good. Now, now the fact that I loosen the back here, you see how easily this axle is going in? If you're having some problem getting it in here, it's because it's, this bolt on the back side is too tight and it's pushing everything forward. Go. Grab your other bolt and you see how this bolt right here, see how it's got a little shelf right in here? That's where this washer is going to sit. Washer is going to go right in there, sit just like that. Now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to drive the main axle home now because everything else is lightly loosened. And do it, tighten this until, you can see I can move the, I can move the axle but I can't tighten anymore. That means they, these are tightened into each other. Then I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this cambering bushing bolt, get this one. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is get the yoke on the back, nice and tight. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and put the wheel on here. You see we've got a push pin. I'm just gonna slide it on the end. Remember, we loosened the bolts here, but we could easily slide this on, push the pin into place, line the pin up, and make sure it pops out the hole. Then I'll go ahead and I'll tighten these two bolts. Good to go. All right, let's put the rear wheels on. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove this wheel axle. Again, I'm just gonna pull the axle out enough to keep this washer on here. I'm not gonna mess with the brake just yet. I'm just gonna get it out of the way. You can see that it's a cantilever type brake and it's spring loaded. Just want to get the wheel on. One of these things, one of the things you're going to notice on this wheel, but there's an opening here, and sometimes there's a cent, there's a center spacer in here, and it may be shifted to the side a little bit. So you may have to take a tool from the other end and use this to kind of center it while you're bringing the main axle to the other end. Because if you run against this, then it's not going to go through. So again, pull the brake back, bring the wheel into place, slide it in. Take my spacer over here, slide it in, and push the axle all the way through. There we go, one wheel. Looks like everything's spinning just fine. I'm gonna move on to the next one. Spacer on there. Remember, take the cantilever brake, pull it back, pull the cable through, but just get it out of the way. You don't wanna have to fish it out later. Looks like they've done a good job of keeping that bearing setting. Now, I don't know if that's gonna happen on all the trikes, but I'm sure having some success right here. And that's kinda nice. Got my bolt, light it on. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is put the handlebars on. I just need to remove these two bolts. Again, five millimeter. We'll take the cap off, slide this on, and I'm gonna perch these slightly forward. Make sure the front wheel is facing in the proper direction. The axle is in the back, not in the front. And when I tighten these two bolts, what I wanna do is make sure that the distance between this side and the distance between this side is equal. So don't drive one bolt all the way down so that this is cocked in some way. We want it to go down evenly. So just kind of get it snugged, get it into place, roll the handlebars right about where you're gonna want them. That looks pretty good. Always wanna be per perched a little bit for almost a 45 degree angle going forward. And we'll go ahead and tighten everything down. Okay, so these brakes are gonna be a little uncomfortable reaching my hand down. So I wanna bring them up a little bit. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna loosen this bolt. See this bolt right here? I'm gonna rotate them up a little bit. That looks good. And you don't have to drive this bolt home, just make it snug so that it doesn't move. I'm gonna do the same to the other one. Okay, so you can see that I have my brake cables crossed over. So I'm gonna take this brake cable and it's gonna come up this guide, it's gonna come around and around the front. But the first thing we wanna do is actually get it onto the brake lever. So now remember, I'm gonna bring my cable around the outside here, the crossing that is going on at the bottom, and I'm gonna come around and I'm gonna pull the brake lever out. You see this little notch? Actually, you can't see it because it's on the underside. So you can see on the underside here, there's a little notch. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this lead, I'm gonna drop it right into that notch. Then when I pull it across the middle, you see there's some space to drop in here. I'm gonna line up the ferrule. See, there's a couple slots in there. 
and bring it forward. Then I'll take this lock ferrule and move it all the way that way towards this ferrule and then screw the whole thing in. This will give me a little bit of adjustment down the road. And then I'm gonna push that right into there. I'm gonna do the same to the other side. Okay, so I've got my cable brake levers on. I've got the cables into the sheath. Now I've gotta adjust the brakes. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this brake cable. See, I've got a little bit of space here. But remember, now as I'm pulling this, I'm pulling the cable on the back by the wheel. So I'm just gonna drop it into this sleeve, drop it into that sleeve. So I'll take this and drop it into here. I'll take this one and drop it into here. We have everything lined up, so all we need to do now is adjust the brakes. Okay, at this point you've taken your trike, you flipped it upside down, and you're ready to adjust the brakes. So you remember, in your kit, you got a three millimeter. That is for these two bolts right here. So I'm gonna back these off. Make sure that the tool goes all the way in. You don't wanna strip these bolts. Just take one of them out, don't take both out. All right, so you see how this plate just slides over there. And I'm gonna take this cable, I'm gonna reach it forward like this, pull the plate back over, put this bolt right back in there. When the cable comes through, make sure it lines up right through the center of this guy. It's got a little bump right here and it's made for that guy. So we're almost there. So the last thing we're gonna to wanna to do here is I like to take the brake cable, pull it as tight as it's gonna go, to even where the wheel doesn't turn. You see how the wheel's not turning, right? I've got this snug down a little bit. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my fingers and just pull a little bit back so the wheel can spin. Once the wheel can spin, then I know I'm pretty well set where I need to be. And then I'll go ahead and lock this cable down. Snug them both down evenly. Don't wanna drive them home and break the head off. Make sure the tool's all the way into the bolt and give it a snug. If you have the leverage of the cable going this way, it's enough to keep it in there. There you go. You'd rather have it uh, so that you can still make these adjustments in the future. If the wheel moves slightly, I'm gonna make another move on the other side, and we're gonna be done. Double check, looks good. I think we're ready to take it for a run. So there you see, it was pretty easy to put this thing together. Uh, just in review, the trike doesn't fold. If we wanna fold this trike, we're gonna to have to remove the main axle here. You can see there's plenty of room to add the eight and a half inch wheels. And then on the back here, you'll see that we have several different mounting points for the brake. So right now we're set up for a seven. Back here would be a six inch. There's an eight inch poly. And then again, now we can step up to the eight and a half inch tire. We want to thank you today for coming by and checking out the new T7. It's an amazing cruise. I'm enjoying mine. And I uh, hope this video helped you figure out how this thing goes together and get a little bit more information. If you have any questions, please give us a call or check us out. Send us an email at ride at southbaytrike.com. Let us know what you think. We'll catch up with you later. Thanks a lot. Score yourself a new T7 today. This carving machine is mine. Go out and get yours.